I'm Dr. Neha Prabhakar, consultant pathologist at Redcliffe Labs, Noida. Today we are going to discuss about calcium test. Calcium is a mineral which is found in our body. Almost 99% calcium is found in the bones and teeth and 1% circulates in the blood. Calcium not just provides strength to our bones and teeth but it also helps in muscle contraction nerve transmission and in blood clotting. Calcium can be found in two forms in the blood. One, as free and ionized calcium, which is the active form of calcium, or as bound calcium, in which calcium combines to proteins and other minerals. A calcium test can help in detecting the levels of both of these types of calcium as total calcium levels and ionized calcium levels. The normal calcium levels in our body is 8.5 to 10.2 mg per deciliter. If the calcium levels are below this, we call this as hypocalcemia or calcium deficiency. There can be various causes to this. It is mostly due to the dietary deficiency of calcium or due to vitamin D deficiency as vitamin D helps in the absorption of calcium due to protein deficiency in certain medical conditions like chronic kidney diseases, hypoparathyroidism, pancreatitis, malabsorption syndromes and in certain bone diseases like rickets. If the calcium is deficient in our body, our bones will become weak leading to bone pains and fracture. There can be muscle cramps, weakness, tingling sensation or if the calcium deficiency is severe, it can lead to seizures or irregular heartbeats. We can prevent calcium deficiency by taking adequate amount of calcium in our diet. Calcium can be found in various dairy products like milk, curd, cheese, green leafy vegetables, in nuts and seeds and nowadays certain calcium fortified foods are also available like cereals and juices or else we can take calcium supplements else even vitamin D supplements if the vitamin D is also deficient. If the calcium levels are above normal we call this as hypercalcemia. It can also be due to certain conditions like hyperparathyroidism, certain cancers like breast, lung, kidney, multiple myeloma, in bone diseases like pages or due to immobilization for long time. Even excess intake of calcium and vitamin D can lead to hypercalcemia. This will lead to weakness, increased thirst, frequent urination, kidney stones, loss of appetite and even nausea, vomiting and constipation. Hence, we can monitor our calcium levels by getting our calcium levels checked regularly. Thank you.